Hey guys, Aquatic Bob's here. I actually just finished spot feeding my coral. Uh, usually once or twice a week now I've been getting around to spot feeding. It takes a good 45 minutes to an hour with all this coral in here. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to show you guys how I feed reef roids and reef chili mixed in with Red Sea's Coral Nutrition AB Plus and I mix in a little amino acids and a little bit of phytoplankton so five things uh, reef roids is the main ingredient then I add just a little bit of water from the tank but my coral love this stuff look at this guy turned inside out you can see he's got a string of it let me see if I can get my finger in there yeah it's got a string of it coming in it loops around over and comes back into his mouth there just slowly pulling it in he was just covered in it too I, put, I always put a lot on him and on this guy and you can see they kind of ball it up and then they just slowly suck it in yeah it's really cool for those of you who aren't too familiar uh, each one of these coral uh, each one of these little circle things is a head it's called a polyp and there's large polyp stony corals which are like these ones here they have large polyps and they have stone skeleton structures uh, and then there's small polyp stony corals which are like this guy they have much smaller heads and the polyps that are coming out of their um, out of the coral are, are small but they're still uh, where they eat out of so they're constantly grabbing small plankton and small food particles in the water and that's how they eat so it's really cool and I really enjoy watching uh, if you haven't spot fed before I know some people don't like to put their hands in the tank at all or try to keep them out as much as possible but I've really had good results I just washed my hands really good first and uh, rinse them really good to get all the additional soap scum off and then I feed so yeah I've had great results I'm kind of even still out of breath because I have to stand way up high and reach over my tank, but things are going really well. Coral respond well. I enjoy it. It's a fun way for me to interact with my tank and the animals in the tank. I think the fish love it because I always feed them extra so that they don't try to steal the food off all the corals, but <laughs> it's just a win-win situation. So, anyways... Thanks for watching guys, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I've been doing more videos lately and trying to put out good content and even if you're not really into the hobby, sometimes it's just fun to look at a saltwater tank and see how beautiful some of this stuff is. Uh, it just blows my mind, the creativity of God to be able to make something like this that, you know, there's there's so much to it there's so much science and you know coral is made up of a symbiotic relationship between an algae called zooxanthella and then the actual coral structure and skeleton itself and the algae provides shelter and helps the coral to survive and the coral provides safety for the algae to live and, and harbor in it so pretty neat very neat relationship, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next video.